Super Duties are towing and hauling monsters with their massive diesel power and torque levels. The only thing holding these trucks back from the complete perfection is their traditional suspension system, which can sag and sway under extreme loads and cause problems like brake resistance, premature tire wear, and bottoming out. Airlift's high quality air springs install easily between the frame and the axle to provide support and reduce wear on your factory suspension system. The adjustable air springs work with your existing suspension to give your vehicle more compromising leveling support when you need it, ensuring proper weight distribution even under the heaviest loads. With the truck safely in the air, we remove the rear wheels for access to the rear suspension. The new airbags will take place of the factory bump stops, so we can remove them along with the two bolts mounted in the frame. The clips can be pried off with a flathead screwdriver. They will be replaced with Airlift's frame clips and they simply slide into the factory mount location. You may need to lightly tap them in order to slide them into the frame. Now we are ready for the top plate that bolts to the new frame clips. It installs a certain way which we show here. Back on our workbench, we assembled the airbags, mount the hat on top of the bag, followed by the airline fitting. The top plate mounts next, and you will see its orientation by the cutout for the airline fitting. Flip the airbag over and set the plate on the bag. Since our truck is lifted, we also need to install the spacers to the airbag assemblies. It requires us to shave off the tabs on one side of the pucks. Once they are shaved down, the shaved side can mount to the bottom of the airbag and the other puck to the bottom plate. Once the pucks are both bolted to their plates, they will twist and lock together. After the spacers are clipped together, mount the rear block plate to the bottom of the airbag. Leave it loosely bolted together for now so it has slight movement for install later. The carriage bolts can be slid through the airbag plate as well. If your truck has a bigger rear block than factory, you might need to source longer bolts than airlift includes with the kit. Back in the wheel well, we slightly loosened the frame plate to insert the four airbag mounting bolts through the top, then we buttoned it back up. The airbag slides into the rear suspension with the long carriage bolts carefully routed around the brake lines by the axle. Compress the airbag to slide its top plate through the four bolts in the frame plate. You can see here how we have the completed airbag system assembled on the rear end. The only step remaining is to secure the airbag to the axle by bolting it to the frame, slipping on the axle clamp, and securing the U-bolt to the side of the rear block.
Remember the rear block plate we loosely left bolted together earlier? Guess what? You can now tighten it down completely to the plate. Here is the final shot of the airbag assembly on our Super Duty. Depending on the kit you purchased, you will either have a manual airline attachment or an onboard compressor. We installed a compressor with our setup, but if you decided to install manual airlines, all that is left to finish is to cut and install them to the bags and mount your air valve where you like. Airlift designed this rear air spring kit to support your existing suspension system and accommodate seriously heavy duty loads. The air springs effectively improve ride quality and towing capacity as well as reduce wear on your tires and suspension. Load Lifter 5000 air springs provide up to 5000 pounds of leveling capacity for support of your heaviest loads. 